All right, hi guys. My name is Joey Swearingen. I am the program director for the Physical Therapist Assistant Program at the Technical College of the Low Country. And I just was working outside and wanted to take some time to share about our program for those interested. Um, working as a PTA is a, is a great opportunity for employment as you get to help individuals of all ages who are functionally limited in their daily activities due to injury, illness, or other health conditions. So if you enjoy helping people, this is a great profession for you. Um, one of the main questions we get asked is what is the difference between a physical therapist and a physical therapist assistant? And a physical therapist is the one who will see the patient the first visit and they set up, they evaluate that patient, diagnose that patient and come up with a treatment plan, a plan of care. They set goals for the patient. And then the PTA operates under that plan of care uh, to reach those goals. So other than the evaluation or reevaluations along the way, the PTA can do all of the treat, mostly all of the treatment throughout that episode of care. Some of the best things about the profession are that you get to work in flexible environments. So you can be in many different settings. PTAs work in hospitals, outpatient centers, uh, sports and fitness, long-term care, rehab hospitals, and many of those have some set hours um, that you can, um, but if you are interested in a flexible schedule, you can also work at home health uh, where you kind of set your schedule. So you can work a really long day one day and, and have a shorter day another. Um, what they focus on with patients a lot is teaching exercise for mobility, strength, and coordination, as well as helping those patients uh, learn to walk again sometimes with crutches, crutches canes, or walkers. Um, overall, PTAs have a pretty good outlook as far as um, employment availability. Jobs are usually in demand. And in 2017, the mean salary in South Carolina was uh, around $55,000 for a physical therapist assistant. Our program is 69 credit hours over a minimum of five semesters. These include general education, science, and, and PTA courses. Um, we generally recommend that uh, some of those general ed courses are done ahead of time. Uh, it helps your weighted application, so you, it helps your chance of getting into the program, but also makes it easier as the workload can increase as you, as you get into program. The nice thing about once we get in program is our, most of our classes have a lab component to them. So we're not only learning in, through a textbook and through lectures, uh, but we're, we're putting it into real life. And then as we progress through the program, the last three semesters have a clinical education component uh, where you'll be actually working with, this, with a uh, physical therapist or physical therapist assistant as your clinical instructor out in the community. Um, our applications this semester are extended to June 1st if you're interested, um, but I would recommend contacting Amanda Barney in the Health Sciences Department um, to talk about the application process and where you are in that process. One of the things I wanted to do with this video was also just to take some time and show you a little idea of what a PT or PTA might do. And since we're dealing with this COVID-19 pandemic, a lot of us are working from home or not working or we're stuck behind a computer or we're stuck at home with kids watching TV, sitting down a lot. So I'm gonna show you about three or four home exercises that are great just to get up, get moving and help with your uh, posture, help prevent back, neck, shoulder pain. Um, so here we go, all right? I'm gonna back up here and we're gonna talk about that. So some of the first things are when you're working here, I'm gonna back up. When you're working, when we sit, we usually get a rounded shoulder posture. Our hips are usually flexed, so we usually get tight hip flexors, tight pec muscles, really weak in the back and really weak in our buttocks. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna work on those hip flexors. And so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna get in a modified lunge position, keep that belly tight and lean forward till you feel a stretch in this hip flexor. You're gonna to wanna to hold that for about 30 seconds. I'm gonna shorten here just so we don't sit on this video for too long. And then you're gonna switch sides. Do the same thing on the other side. So 30 seconds each way. And you could do that one time, it's fine, but you could do it up to three times if you want. The other exercise is a nice way to open up the chest, stretch your pecs, um, but also get some thoracic extension as we sit round out of the computer. And this one, you're gonna, just gonna grip your hands behind your back, assuming you don't have any shoulder issues or any other major problems. And you're just gonna squeeze your shoulder blades back and lift your arms backwards, hold for about five seconds, and come down. Rest a couple seconds, and then do that again. And we would do this about, about 10 times total. Good thoracic extension stretch here. 
The last two are all postural as well. And what you're gonna do here is we're just gonna do some scapular retractions or pinch those shoulder blades together. I always like to tell people, instead of just pinching your shoulder blades straight back, think back and down. Get that good posture, squeeze for five seconds. Three, two, one, and relax. And again, five, four, three, two, one, relax. And you would do about 20 of those, 10 to 20 of those if you can. The last one is a good chest stretch as the scapular retractions we just did strengthen the back. We also need to stretch out the tightness in the chest. So if you can take a pole or a doorway or anything, put your arm up here. You're just gonna step forward, twist to stretch that chest out. Again, hold for 30 seconds. Relax and repeat on the opposite side. Thank you.